Hey y'all. Hello, hello, hello. Happy, happy Tuesday. I hope y'all Tuesday is going great. Y'all, how are y'all doing? For those who do not know who I am, my name is Brittany Marie King. I never say my name when I get on the videos. I just kind of assume people know, but some people do not. So, it's your girl, Brittany um, Marie King. And I don't know why this is just so funny to me because I really never say my name, but I need to start. But anyway, I needed to get this out before it just leaves my thought process, my mind. Um, this was the thought that I got when I was in the shower today. And I have said before, for me, when I take a shower, that what is being re revealed to me in the shower lately has been like the realest and raw, you know, like this is who you are, like the realest, the rawest, the natural, the you, you know, it reveals who you are. And as I was getting in the shower today, naked was the word that came to mind and being naked, you know, looking at yourself, being honest and really looking at yourself when you are naked, you know, a lot of us, I don't feel do that. I know for me, I was not doing that. I was just getting in the shower, go make it quick, get out. I, you know, that process, I would speed that process up and go through it so fast because it's just like, I'm just trying to get clean and get out the shower. But now that I'm trying to love every part of me from head to toe, I have been, you know, just felt in my spirit to pause and stop and really examine myself when I'm about to get in the shower, like that naked state, like look at myself in the mirror and be honest with how I look on the outside and am I okay with it? And how do I feel on the inside and am I okay with it? And during that time when I have nothing on, cause I cannot get in the shower with jewelry, with watches on, with makeup, with all, I cannot get in the shower with all of those things on with a wig on if i do got a wig on it's covered so like everything is off i'm not getting in the shower with clothes on everything is off so i don't care who in this world you know everybody in this world go through this process of being naked and it's up to us to take that time with ourselves to stop and really look at ourselves in the mirror and be honest and look at ourselves and be like, do we like what we see? As the naked version of ourselves on the outside, do we like what we see? And as and on and the naked version, just new, just nothing, raw, real, just bare. Do you like the inside of that? Do you like how you feel? Because at that moment, you will experience a whole lot of stuff when you in that bathroom, when you in your closet, when you in the secret place, in a closed space where you're not letting anybody in. When you get in the shower, ain't nobody in there with you. Unless, you know, we ain't even finna talk about that, you know. <laughs> Hopefully you marry when you, you know, if you in there with somebody else. But I'm talking about when you are by yourself, everybody has to go through that period of being naked and nude and bare and need to take the time to stop and really look in the mirror and be honest with yourself and how you look and how you feel inside and out. And that's what I was just, you know, led, was led to do and sit and think about. And as I was thinking about being nude, being naked in the shower, for some reason, Genesis has been in my thoughts going back to the beginning and really getting the understanding of the beginning and how everything started. And y'all, it's crazy because today is the third and I just went back and read the scripture and the scripture that I am looking for is Genesis 3. It talks about the fall. So you have to really just go read that whole entire chapter 
to get an understanding of really kind of getting a revelation or wisdom and knowledge on where I'm coming from. So if you don't read it, you're not going to know. But basically, it was talking about the fall of man and how before, you know, man did not know that they were naked. You know, they didn't know that they were naked. They were perfect to God. After they fell and disobeyed God is when they realized that they were naked. When they were, you know, didn't have nothing on, they could see. their. It says their eyes were open. And it's. I feel like I'm in that position where I am being stripped of everything and my eyes are being coming open. Like I'm so naked to my surroundings. Like it's just real and raw and I can't help but see the truth. You know, and at that moment for them, they was naked. They realized that they were naked. And in in that same passage, it talks about how they were afraid. They were ashamed, you know. And it was just reminding me of how, you know, when you're in that state of being afraid and ashamed, it's because you know you did something wrong. You know you disobeyed. You know you did something that you was not supposed to do. And that's where the fear comes in at. And that's where the shame comes in at. But, you know, I am reminded, I was reminded to, you know, it's a great thing where you can step in that zone and be like, okay, yeah, my eyes are open. And I see that, you know, this is what's wrong. And try to fix it and try to be better, you know, and grow. You know, you can't look at it and be like, oh, I'm afraid and I'm ashamed and naked and go. What they did was they was afraid, they was naked, and they went to go hide. And God is asking them, what are y'all hiding for? The only reason y'all hiding is because they hiding because they like, I we're naked. And it's like, how you know you're naked? How do you even know that? Because you disobeyed me, basically. You disobeyed me. So that's the only way you would know that. And hey, they was sent out, you know. They they put on them some clothes and they kept it moving. They was but they was put out of the garden. But you have to go read that story to know. But the whole point is, you know, a lot of times a lot of people don't want to don't want their eyes to be open. A lot of people walking around blinded and you know, really don't understand where they at, you know, having been having gotten naked enough, having gotten real and raw and really deep down to the root of to the point of why they in the position they in and who they are and getting to know they self and loving they self and you know why am I doing certain stuff and you know and I don't know that's just where I'm at right now but that was my shower thoughts just you know the whole story of uh Adam and Eve in the fall and today is the third and that chapter is Genesis 3 so I just felt it was something needed to be shared and I can relate because as I stepped in the shower, as I look at myself, when I go through that process, I take my time now. I don't rush it. I really take my time and examine myself on the outside. And I really exam examine and really see how I feel on the inside. Because everything is bad right then, you know. Like, and it's just a reality check on how much I still need to grow. How much I see a lot of things I don't like and I need to fix it. And I want to fix it. And I want to get better. And, you know, me sharing it is just a way of, I know if I'm thinking it, some Somebody else is thinking the very same thing and need help with the very same thing. Like, I know I'm not the only one in this transition, mean, you know, period to where, you know, you transition it out of that uh, slave mentality, that slave mindset and, and tapping into who you are in creative zone and who you are called to be in purpose mode, you know. So, hey, uh I don't know. I just thought that was great. I thought, you know, when I get something and I feel that it won't leave me and it's always in my thoughts that I need to share it, I got to share it, I want to share it. And if it just helps one person and one person like it and one person agree and one person can feel it and just know that, hey, that that makes sense. I, I feel that I want to try to be better. I want to try to look at myself and be honest and be real with me. You know, love myself enough to not rush that naked period and actually see yourself. Stop and see yourself and really see what you need to work on and fix and heal and grow and get better at. And, you know, that's a process within itself. You cannot rush it. Um, or when you rush it, 
you're going to be going back and doing it again because if you rush it and you don't get the lesson and you fail the test because the test come with it so when you fail the test you know you got to take it over again you got to take the class over again you got to repeat it over again so who wants to keep repeating the same test i did that so many times like the test of life and like just say for instance i have three kids um three girls i had did that cycle three times like that test i repeated that three times of sleeping with a person not knowing who they are rushing a relationship and moving fast not knowing who i am not knowing who they are and just having a baby i rushed it and it's just like i failed it three times but you know i woke up and i was like i'm not finna be like my mother i'm not finna be like my father you know i i want to pass this test and i don't want my children to continue this curse so you know just a reality check but anyway y'all i got to go i'm finna continue to enjoy my day y'all have a great day i love y'all be great nothing less